Oh, it's a train wreck. There's a massive train wreck. There's a massive pile up here. Uh, very, very ugly. Hello there. Let's have a bit of Trackmaster 2 fun. I have been finding some new bits of train and blah, blah in the toy stores. We're going to take a look at Ryan and Jeremy in this review. You go and skiff, which I think is excellent, and the amazing winged Thomas. And the best way to unbox these I've found is using a rubber chicken. Yeah! Go, chicken, go! That chicken has just wrecked this bridge. You're fired! What is it about rubber chickens? They are nothing but destructive. Noisy critters, and they don't help at all. And I'm also going to feature Shooting Star Gordon because it gives me a chance to do my Oh, the indignity that rubber chicken ruined this video! Now I'll carefully unbox this beautiful winged Thomas. Uh, actually, before I take it out of the box, these are the other ones you can collect there. Uh, these are ones you don't want to let uh, slip and miss because I think they're going to be very popular, especially this one here. I think that crane, Jeremy, looks awesome. Okay, get this out of the box. Yeah! In the box was this here, it explains how to do the batteries and instructions and constructions. Uh, what I do with those is rip them up and get rid of them. Yeah, sadly I'm a Thomas collector, I've got a bit of a Thomas heart. I actually like this a lot. There's actually a lot of variations of Trackmaster 2 Thomas that I'm starting to hoard up now, which is quite sort of curious, isn't it? Uh, the wings do deploy like this, it becomes very jet age looking when you do that. It also has a little tailplane section that pops up like that. I don't think that it does anything apart from just pops up. I think sometimes less is more. Maybe we could have done without that piece on the back. Maybe you can have your five cents on that. The detailing on this is excellent. The fact that we see Thomas's pattern and everything continue on under the wings there is nice. But I think we take a closer look here. And there was a magic edit there. The rivet detailing is actually part of the plastic mold. Now I took a very close look at this. Initially I thought... There was an elaborate sticker put on this, um, but it's part of the mould that's been done very, very nicely. The fact that we've got river detailing there uh, sort of says to me they've gone to a lot of effort. That is Mattel, the toy company who owns Thomas, to make something rather different and rather special here. And I think, in the end, that's all we really want to see, something nice and special. I've already put batteries in this, Thomas, but it's worth taking a look inside to see the plastic detailing, how it's so different to our normal Thomas the Tank and the way things are done in it. Hmm. Might be a nice, curious one to pull apart. It might be difficult as well. And I think, imagine this, Thomas, if we had a, a white running board there. Oh, man, I'll start crying, won't I? And even just painted buffers. I mean, that's the constant I hear. Why don't we get these? A little black sticker or black paint or something. Isn't that just so simple to do? But if I continue on like that, I'll just start ranting and then you'll start to get angry at me. This is the rolling stock that comes with the Wing Thomas. It's Annie and Clarabel, and I call it the streamlining variant because it's blue. Uh, I've got to go back and double check. Oh, look at that sticker there. Man, I should have looked at that more carefully. Look how crooked that is. Mm, it's a bit disappointing, isn't it? I hope Mr. Mattel's watching that. It's a Sticker Friday, I call those. What are the other ones like? Hmm. Oh, well, it's a variation, isn't it? I like the fact we've got this on top. That is a sticker, I think. Let me take a close... No, it's not a sticker. It's painted, I think. I'm just trying to pick that. No, that's been painted on. Hmm, this is nice, isn't it? I like that. I like it a lot. As for how they've done Annie and Clarabelle's faces, it's quite strange. It just looks like Minions glasses they've added there. That's what I'm saying. I can add a minion tag to this video and that's going to be very popular. I'll just clear some of this rubbish away and I'll get Wing Thomas onto a track here. Okay. Oh, I've actually just got these round the wrong way. I've got Clarabelle first. That'll get you raging, won't it, hey? Okay. Wings are out. Will it go through that bridge there if the wings are out? Da da! Okay, maybe that rubber chicken knew what was going to happen this video. I've got to get rid of this bridge bit to make this work. Rubber chickens are smart, aren't they? Sorry, Thomas, that was very ugly, wasn't it? You get your back on track, get your wings out, you go to Claire Bell and the knee. <laughs> Looking there. Okay, away you go. Go, Thomas, go! Oh, yeah, that is looking spiffo and spectacular. Oh, my goodness me, Gordon's not ready to go yet. Go, Gordon, go! Okay, Wing Thomas is now chasing Gordon. And it looks like Wing Thomas is starting to creep up, starting to creep up. It's going to give Gordon the nudge by the looks of it. Watch out, Gordon. You're about to be... Given a huge, oh, shake up there by Wing Thomas. That's looking very ugly as Gordon's tender is, oh, no, 
Gordon Stenner's back on the tracks. It didn't last very long, did it? Gordon is doing his best to get away from Wing Thomas. Oh, the indignity! Get that wing menace away from me. I can't stand this. It's embarrassing. Don't worry, Gordon. You're looking fine and dandy, I can tell you. And Wing Thomas is having a bit of trouble now trying to nudge that tender off the tracks there. But I'm sure Wing Thomas is going to do his best if we get into focus and get Gordon off the rails. Yes, it's a sort of train eye candy you can't keep your eyes off, especially when you're playing nudge nudge wink wink toy trains. That's what I like to play. Maybe if I get a bit of deviation going on here, you might get some more excitement going on. Okay, we're going to send them onto the outer track. Oh, the indignity! Someone switched Oh, the indignity! Thomas and Wing Thomas has failed, failed, failed! <laughs> And as I often often say, that is the best fun, I think, with uh, Trackmaster 2 Thomas Toys. I like this Wing Thomas, I like it a lot. I know it's going to be annoying a lot of people have got these guys around the wrong way, but we'll give Gordon another run here. Go Gordon, go! Give Wing Thomas another run as well. Okay, where they go. Okay, well Gordon's out there running on the outer line now. Oh, he's making a deviation into the inner line, and of course Wing Thomas is just behind. I like watching him go through the points, I must admit, I like it a lot. And it hasn't taken long, Wing Thomas is up nudging Gordon again. And I sort of know that sooner or later a train wreck is going to happen, especially in areas like that. Oh, Gordon's tender is over, and Wing Thomas has nudged Gordon off the thing. Oh, the indignity, I've been rammed off the rails by that winged menace. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. I could actually uh, do that all day long, but we're going to move on to the next train to take a look at this review. And it's going to be Hugo and Skiff. I've already spoken about Hugo in the Thomas and Friends Adventures line. I'm not going to discuss any more about the history of this train. And I'll carefully unbox uh, this one from the packaging. Best thing about these toys, they're nice and tough. Hugo is a very, very interesting uh, bit of rail history. I'm not going to get too involved in this. I will put some links in this video in the info area about this rail car. A uh, nice bit of German engineering and future thinking. Uh, it's a nice character. It's a nice episode as well. A different episode, should I say. I have got batteries in here. And when you power up Hugo, the propeller on the back also powers. It's nice and safe. Don't worry, boys and girls. You won't get your fingers chopped off. And if we open up Hugo, we'll see something quite... Miraculous. Some people just love that screwdriver shot, and this is not an ad for the people who do the batteries in there. That's why I've turned the names around so you can't see them, okay? <laughs> um, there is a gear there that goes up and powers the fan. If I show the other part there, you can see there's also a gear there that connects to the propeller. It's a nice idea, but having that there is going to take away some of Hugo's grunt to the wheels because, well, it's an equation of energy, isn't it? I'm not going to get too involved because, well, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. And for the fact we've got this going on here, maybe we've got some other curious things in development. Um, but I'm never going to know because big toy companies uh, never talk to little people like me. Okay, let me do Hugo back up again. This is the piece of rolling stock that comes of Hugo. Oh, I dare say it's related back to the episode. I think it is. You can tell me. Quite like it. It looks like green goo and chocolate covered barrels to me. It's very nice, isn't it? Okay, and obviously something about a lot of uh, speed and wind going over that. It's got you know, color and movement. It looks like someone's spewed in there as well. And there's also skiff, and I'm sort of struggling to. Um, understand exactly how Skiff can connect to anything because as far as I can see he's just a, a lone sailor without any sort of coupling system. He's he sail up here to spin around, you're either going to love Skiff or you're going to hate Skiff. It's one of those things or something like this. If you do get bored in a rainy day and you think what can I do between these two critters here, well you can turn Hugo on, get his propeller spinning and you can get Skiff and ram Skiff into the propeller there and give him a shave. Yeah, you could do that all day long. Yeah, a bit of a curious one, isn't it? Seeing Skiff, and I suppose they are directly related, those two in the story. Uh, what is nice about Skiff is you can actually put in your favourite little character and sit it there and run it around on the rails. Uh, mind you, there's no coupling on that thing, so it's going to be just pushed around by something else. Or I'm going to put Becky from finding 
he looks at Finding Nemo, it's Finding Dory Becky was in. I can get Disney tags on this video now, which is important, and I can see if Skip's propeller can blow this along, like we see in the episode. Hmm. Oh, sorry, Becky, you nearly chopped your head off. I can't see much movement going on there, but I think I've got something that can blow Skiff along the rails. I've got this fan dangled battery powered blower sucker thing. I think I can give Skiff a bit of a blow from this. And we can sort of see the sail in action. There we go, boys and girls. Oh, uh, a little bit too much wind. Well, I'll put Skiff in this wreckage area here. I've got Hugo and that thing there ready to go. Go, Hugo, go. I've got Wing Thomas ready to go. And holy indignity, shooting star Gordon. And it all looks fine and dandy and track master too beautiful. I do love looking at these trains. I think they are spectacular. Especially when they're about to get rammed like that and winged. Thomas is coming up and giving Hugo's load there a bit of a, a bit of a ram, but it wouldn't be very nice there for Thomas because he's right in that sort of gunky stuff coming off the back of that wagon there. Not a very nice look at all, is it? Oh, shooting star Gordon's lagging behind. If I do that, that's going to start to spice it up. Okay, Hugo goes around. Oh, ouch, ouch! Hugo is down. Tom Wing Thomas is through. And here comes shooting star Gordon. Oh, get away, Hugo, you menace. Look how precarious that is there. Hugo nearly fell off the table. What I can do, I can use this quite bit of track here to reset Hugo. Go, oh, no, it's too early there. Just giving Wing Thomas the round, but he's still dragging on there. That's not a pretty sight at all, but I like looking at that. Can't keep my eyes off it, and Wing Thomas is still going along with Clarabelle and Annie dragging along, causing a hole. But, oh, God, it's just taken out Hugo there off camera. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Missed that. And, um, yeah, Wing Thomas there with that uh, reverse around Clarabelle and any looking very, very ugly indeed. Oh, okay, Wing Thomas is stalled there. You know what's going to happen next? See that over there? Shooty Star Gordon's going to come up and ram Annie. Oh, no, it's going to be Thomas. Oh, my goodness me, Thomas is down. Thomas is down. Oh, get off the rails, you rat bag, winged menace. I'll come in and do a bit of resetting. Okay, the trains are... Um, Getting very, very edgy, aren't they? Maybe I should correct this and make it any Clarabelle again before the, the rage takes over this video, hey? Oh, let's give it another spin, see who crashes out and who gets burnt up. Okay, Hugo, away you go. Wing Thomas, ready to go. And holy oh, indignity, Gordon's gonna have another go. I like Hugo a lot, I like it a lot. You can't keep your eyes off Hugo once it gets up and running. Wing Thomas is catching up like Wing Thomas can. Because Hugo's got that uh, propeller, which would be taking some of the energy away from the wheels. Too hard to explain, boys and girls, too hard to explain. I'm not a mathematician, so I can't explain it properly. Oh, there's trouble there. Wing Thomas has just given a nudge to Hugo's wagon there. And actually, Wing Thomas is going to go, oh no, the propeller, Thomas, don't get so close. You're going to get a shave. You're going to get your face smacked out. Oh, he's just taken out there. It's a great big crash there. Oh yes, he's just busted through. That was quite impressive, Thomas. Wing Thomas busted through there. Hugo is left laying on the tracks. Maybe if I do that, ooh, I could cause some confusion and delay. Oh, here comes Will. Shitty Star Gordon going to come up and give Hugo the smack down right in the middle there. Oh, and he's caught up and Thomas is going to come along and smash straight through there like he does. Look at him go. Go, Thomas, go. And he's still powering on. Wow, what a champion. Look at that. Can you believe that? I think I have to see that again. Thomas is in all sorts of peril here. He's going to come along. Oh, he's going to get through again as he's stuck on the rails. No, he's caught up in the points there with Annie and Clarabelle. If you're wondering where Gordon got to, hold the indignity, get this rubbish off my face and get me back on the rails fast. Yes, Gordon, yes, stop complaining, man, stop complaining. You're feeling better now, Gordon? You're back on the table? Okay, I'm going to give Hugo a go by itself. And I'll explain why, because I'm going to add Skiff onto the rail here. And I'll get the points changed, see if we can push Skiff along with Hugo, making sure the points are set right. 
And here comes Hugo. Let's see how this works because uh, Skip doesn't have a coupling system on there. Okay, that looks fine and dandy, doesn't it? Sort of stuff you can't keep your eyes off. Looks rather nice indeed. So yeah, she can have a bit of play with Skip on the rails being pushed along with your favourite character. Let's see how it goes through points area there. Oh, okay. Ooh, that makes it through. Well, let's give Skiff a bit of a challenge. Let's and shooting Star Gordon into Skiff's face. Oh, the indignity! I've just been rambled the rails by that scaly little boat called Skiff. Oh! And you know what's going to happen? Uh, Hugo's going to come along, go through the points here, and give Skiff and shooting Star Gordon a bit of a plunge. Oh, straight through he goes. Amazing. Oh. Dignity has just been rammed off the rails by some German engineering. Okay, the next one is Ryan and Jeremy, and it says on the box there, cool adjustable crane. This one looks awesome. I think these are three great Trackmaster 2 sets to get into. Let me gently unbox this one. Okay, nice tough toys, they will not break. It can be troublesome sometimes to get out of the box. Okay, they're out. In my hot little hands here is Ryan, it looks excellent. Why am I thinking Cadbury's chocolate when I've got this in my hands? That's the colour things that's working out for me there. Uh, I think this is similar to like a Stanley story where something's introduced and it will probably end up being a conflict with Thomas. There always is a conflict with Thomas, isn't there? Uh, I think it's an older style engine. You can tell me the dates when this one was around. Uh, although it's a new character in a sense. There's the front there, the face. I don't know whether it's... Oh, now to me, a lot of the newer characters all sort of look same-ish. Shouldn't say that, should I? I've already got batteries in Ryan here. I think it's a winner. I, I like the colour of it. I think it's a standout colour. Uh, yeah, you can tell me if you like this or lump it. And I think the excellent piece in this set, and it's related to one of the episodes, the missing breakdown train or something, is Jeremy or Jeromone or how do you say that name? I always have trouble with names because I'm not very smart. Uh, this is a twin crane in the sense there's another one called Judy. Whether Judy appears or disappears, who knows? I don't know if that's rust on there or what's going on there. Um, I think they're all rusted because they've been left behind because Rocky was doing all the work and these guys, these twin cranes, which look excellent when they're together, um, were just sort of sitting there uh, neglected. As you often see in rail yards, I think it's, you know, the, the episode looks fantastic. And there's a great daisy rescue thing as well. I might flash some pictures up and get in trouble. Great little scene. On Dramon here, whatever you say it, Jeremy. You can tell me how you say it. I can't pronounce a thing. That's the thing you stick on the tracks because when you're doing a breakdown thing, you set that on the tracks and stop other trains from ramming you. But all in all, I think this piece here is excellent. It spins around there. It's a great looking piece. Goes up and down there. And the hook goes blah, blah. Great looking piece. I think uh, that will be a very, very popular Trackmaster 2 piece to get. And whether Judy appears or disappears, I'll never know. I'll just give um, Jamon and Ryan here a bit of a spin by themselves because they are beautiful. It is a lovely piece of rolling stock. Okay, off they go. I'm not even sure if I've got the crane facing the right way. It happened right there. I wonder why Ryan seems like he's a bit slow. It's probably just because it's his first run. His batteries are starting to get riding in, maybe because the crane's a bit of a load, hey? Actually, I'm looking at the back there, I think what was going on was that rear section there of the crane was dragging sideways, now we've freed up a bit, and we're starting to get a bit of speed, that's more like it, that's more like Trackmaster 2 speed. I'll just capture Ryan here to explain that, what I was just talking about, this uh, coupling here, yeah, it's, it's quite stiff there. If that makes any sense. In a, look at the way, yeah. See that it doesn't it doesn't turn so well. if it's on a if it's on a bit of a a tilt like that, the train gets jagged up. I don't know if that makes any sense. If I can do it again. Okay, probably won't do it for me again now. Alright, it's just gonna become a train wreck. I'm just looking underneath here. It will uh, it will move on that side there, but the other side's like a lot thing there's no sideways movement but there is up and down movement I think that that's what was causing a little bit of drag but I think it all got sorted out and I've just learned how to pull down the hook underneath there in Dramone whatever his name is I can't say it okay away we go again that's better 
Okay, we've got things well working right, I hope now. It looks nice as well. I think this is one of the more lovely bits of Trackmaster 2 gear. Make sure you go out and buy it, hey? I'm going to cause some chaos, although there's chaos happening before I can get going. I've got uh, Hugo here, and I've got Shooting Star Gordon and Wing Thomas with the wings held up at the moment. Haven't had that look yet. Away they go, okay. And basically, trouble will be a brewing. Trouble will be a brewing. They're all going to go up there and try and chase Ryan. Ooh, looks like Shooting Star Gordon has given a nudge there to that covered wagon there, which has all gone splat. That's not a nice thing having your face there, Gordon. Hugo's still going along fine. Oh yeah, and Wing Thomas with the wings held up is now having a sniff of Gordon. And it's looking very nasty there. In fact, that tender is getting jostled around a bit, getting jostled around. Wing Thomas is uh, playing up there and Shooting Star Gordon's doing his best to get Hugo off the rails. But it's all looking hunky-dory for the moment. I don't know, it looks fantastic when you get the Trackmaster 2 trains uh, running in a line like that, hey? You get this sort of uh, great look. I think they're fantastic trains. I think they're very popular as well, from what I can work out, because of the way I see them sell in store. Gordon is still giving a nudge there. Uh, Ryan's over the other side, and Ryan's slowly catching up. Uh, Thomas there, Wing Thomas with the wings in, is trying to get Gordon off the line, and it's, uh, well, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, and not much else at the moment. Ryan and Jamone, or whatever you want to call it, is catching up. I wish they put Judy and it would have been much easier for me to say. Getting closer and closer, gonna give uh, what, Clarabelle there, nearly said Annie because I've got him around the right way now, a bit of a nudge and this could be the beginning of major trouble. Oh, it could be Ryan's little escapade here. Hope he doesn't crash because he's gonna be the one rescuing the uh, people who need rescuing because he's got the breakdown train. But somehow, somehow, it is all just going along without crashing. I don't know how. That's the sort of thing I'm not going to... Oh, no! Oh, there we go! There we go! Oh, no! Ryan is stuck on the rails here. Hugo's going to come along here. Oh, Thomas is in trouble up there. Hugo's going to come along here and ram into the back of Jermone, Jeremy, whatever. Oh, woof! Woof! Oh, just off to the side. And then Thomas is going to come and get a whack from Hugo. And Shuni Star Gordon. Wooshka, look at that there. I love looking at things like that. I can look at that all day long. Oh, it's dragging some of the constructions that ripped up earlier. Looking very, very ugly. A lot of power getting pushed along there. Oh, Thomas is down. Thomas is down, but I'm not surprised. And there goes Hugo and Shooting Star Gordon. And what I can see there, Hugo is actually getting a bit of uh, speed away from Gordon. That's, that's going to annoy Gordon. Well, Hugo is very fast. He's like the, the bullet train before the bullet train was invented. I should get um, Ryan back on the line here. Okay. I'll quickly try and get Thomas going as well. I hate to see trains having a rest on their sides. And if I do this, it's going to cause a bit of confusion and delay, most probably. Okay. They're doing the circuit there through there. Whoa, a bit of a nudge nudge there. Wink, wink. And that's uh, looking very. Oh yes, it looks like Ryan is going to take out Thomas there. Well, Clarabelle's looking very ugly at the moment. Clarabelle's going to be given a shove. Clarabelle's on her side. So is Annie now. And Ryan's come. Oh, Wink Thomas is down. Wink Thomas is down. And somehow Ryan and Jermaine, Jeremy, call it Judy. I can't. I can't remember its name. I can't say it. They somehow busted through. <laughs> Well, with Thomas down like that, you know what's going to happen uh, when these other trains come along, there's going to be a horrendous train wreck. I've just got a feeling, oh my goodness, Thomas just been shoved off the table. And look at this here, Ryan is giving Shooting Star Gordon the nudge there, looking quite menacing indeed. Very, very menacing. Well, Ryan's actually quite a powerhouse. I have to say, Hugo's there, minding his own business, and I think there's going to be trouble in the rails here through the centre section here. Oh, the indignity, the indignity, and lack of it because nothing happened. Oh, a bit of a nudge there again. Somehow, Shooting Star Gordon is keeping the tender on the rails there. I can't keep my eyes off the action here. Maybe this time around we're going to see something very dramatic. Hugo is just going to skittle through there. Here comes Shooting Star Gordon. Oh, oh my tender is just about to be taken off by some new scallywag. 
Get away from me! Get away from me, you! Get away from me immediately! I don't like you! Go away! You're causing confusion and delay! Oh, it's looking very, very ugly. Just going around. Oh, and Shinny Star Gordon is trapped and down. Shinny Star Gordon is down. And Hugo's gonna come along and finish it off. Yeah! Trackmaster 2 style. Lock it like that. Oh, the indignity! These new characters think they're running the railways. Well, I've just rescued William Thomas and Ian Clarabel from the floor because they were shoved off the table and I'll give these trains a rest and have my final say. Uh, they're a lot of fun to play with and I think, I think Hugo is one of my favourites. All in all, some really nice Trackmaster 2 sets. Uh, don't miss out on these. I'm saying bye, bye, bye. Uh, the Wing Thomas here, I like this a lot. Uh, some people struggle with the abstractness of this. I actually like it. And you can make it look like a normal Thomas or near normal if you do that. Very nice indeed. Would have been nice if I didn't have a sticker Friday going on here. But then again, it is also nice as well. I need the streamlining Thomas. That's what I haven't got. Apparently it's in another set, but I have never seen the set in Australia. I wonder if Mr. Mattel ever watches my stuff and can send one out to me. Would the good things like that ever happen to me? No. Uh, Ryan is excellent, uh, but then again, it's just another character in what is a franchise which has got a lot of character bloat now. Uh, Jermone, Jeremy, is nice. Whether Judy is available or not, who knows. The one thing I will say about this is a negative thing. If the hook was done with the hook going the other way around, so the hook was facing out, it would be a bit more easier to play. Let me show you the reason why. I'll try and rescue Gordon here. I'll show you why. You know, a bit nitpicky, I know, but if the hook was set around the other way, you could hook into Gordon and parts. Uh, but sure, you could come along and maybe hook into a coupling area here. You bend down like that um, to get very ugly here in a second. Yes, you can pick up there. Okay, I just think it would have worked better if the hook was around the other way. I hope you understand. Yeah, I'm going to investigate Dramone, Jeremy, whatever his name is, Judy. I'm calling it Judy now. I can't say anything else. Uh, oh, look at that. That piece comes off. That's a bit curious, isn't it? So you can know there's a floater. Hmm, okay. Uh, I'm going to try and look at that there too. The arm there folds up. Is that the way you meant to cut around in the railways like that? It's different, isn't it? I think I can take this out and spin it round. I think. Oh no, actually I can't. <laughs> How stupid is that? They've got a different size hole either side. So if I do try to put it round back the front, it's not... Oh, I'm trying to get the hook to be round the way I like it. No. See that? It doesn't want to go in because it's got different sized pins. If that makes any sense. It's sad because that hook set like that would key into Gordon bits much easier there's a rescue sort of train that's just my five cents on that I just think that's being done back the front maybe you can tell me what you think that's I'm just putting it back the way it should be okay hook like sort of hooking in like that mm. it's a nice piece I think this is yeah this is gonna be a winner you're gonna want this one believe me trust me on that one trust me well, that has derailed the end part of this video because I was talking about what I like there, yeah. Although, I look, I don't like the look at it. I like it when it's out. To me, that's like classic, you know, breakdown train like that. And that's what that piece is for, isn't it? Uh, that's what the little stop thing looks like when you set it up on the track. I should show that. Okay, it's, you know, it's quite nice. And, of course, we should talk about uh, Skiff. What do you think of Skiff and Hugo and the other covered wagon, hey? Uh, yeah, you're either going to love that piece or you're going to sort of say why. I'm half of me is saying why, so I'll just flick it to the side. But it comes with the glory of Hugo, uh, which is a lovely bit of uh, railway history, which I'm not going to get into at the moment because I already spoke about it in another video. Hugo is awesome. Just going back to the box here, Ryan and Jerome. Is that how you say it? Rome. Suppose if it's Jeremy, it would be an I in there somewhere, I think. I'm not crash on, on how things are pronounced, and that's been one of my little secrets on YouTube, but we won't say too much about that, boys and girls, will we? I'm just going to double check the picture here. I'm just seeing how they set the hook up on this. Okay, the hook is facing in. Hmm. The Trackmaster 2 boxes do have like a mini synopsis going on here. Uh, they will sort of help you understand what's going on with the set of trains, but they also set up confusion and delay.
Well, this one here is the read on the Winged Thomas box. And I'm sorry for the scrunched up, some maniac unboxed this. So it talks about that the Winged Thomas is somehow related to Hugo and the airship. Although, I've watched the episode a couple of times. I don't remember that scene. I don't remember it at all. And we'll take a look at what's said about Ryan and Jerome. That's a curious little read. Maybe a little bit small on screen there, but there is no mention that uh, Jerome is a twin. And Judy's the other breakdown crane. Hmm. And while we're in the mood, we'll take a look at the read related to Hugo and Skiff. Again, it's a bit small to read there. It talks about Hugo and the airship being the episode and how Hugo's propeller uh, gives Skiff a bit of a free ride on the rails, sort of giving Hugo a bit of a purpose. Uh, but there's no history about uh, what Hugo is, which I think is really important. Well, I'll finish on a bit of a, well, high. I hope to finish on a high. I'll give these trains one last spin. Okay, Wing Thomas with the wings up, and Ryan and Jeromone, whatever it is. And Skiff's going to be pushed along by Shooting Star Gordon. It's always nice and uh, quiet before the chaos starts. Uh, which train catches your eye the most? And there's moments when I like Hugo there. Ryan, that breakdown train looks excellent as well. The Wing Thomas is also nice, although I would have preferred the Streamline and Thomas. It looks like Wing Thomas is going to catch up to Shooting Star Gordon and Skiff there. Okay, this is going to get ugly, I think. Anything could happen, and we can just blame Skiff for when the chaos starts to really kick in. Ooh, nudge, nudge there, Thomas. Giving Gordon's tender a bit of a shove. Doing his best to derail it. Oh, yeah, one wheel is off. One wheel is off. Wing Thomas is doing quite well. The other trains are slowly catching up. And I think Gordon's going to be in all sorts of trouble very, very soon. Just has that sniff about it. That's funny, you'll get times when they look like they've settled back down again. There's other times it looks like there's going to be a complete another train wreck. Ooh, Thomas has given another nudge there. Ooh, Gordon's tender is not looking very happy at all. It's jumping on him off the rails. Trackmaster 2 likes to do that. Oh, the tender's almost off the rails there. Almost off the rails. And Thomas has really given the face plant there. And you know why? Because Ryan has come up and give to Clarabell a nudge as well. That is looking extremely ugly. Oh, Thomas is starting to be trying oh, the train wreck there. Ryan has just shoved Thomas to the side there and has come through. Wow, this is, oh, Thomas is back on the line. Thomas is back on the line and now giving Jerome a big shove there. And Ryan's come up here to give Shooting Star Gordon a nudge as well. Oh, I can't believe this. I cannot believe it. Oh, what is going to happen? I don't know who's going to go wrong here now. Here goes off in his own little thing that not doing much at all and it sort of got steady again that was really weird wing thomas just went off on the siding then somehow came back very very strange but you get that with track master too and that's all the fun and play of it right there he's giving the nudge to shooting star gordon's tender is again in trouble oh they caught up a skip there gordon they caught up a skip hugo wasn't fast enough at all and it is again looking very ugly i don't know whether it's just going to be given the shove Ryan is doing his best to stand there, the breakdown train, let's, go, let's call it Judy, that's much better to say, isn't it? Ooh, what's happening here? I don't know where it's going, oh, Gordon's in trouble again, Gordon's back in trouble, but it's, oh, there, the breakdown van is getting messy as well. Oh, I don't know where it's going to fall over. Anything could happen, I've never seen a like this before. Anything could happen, and the trouble's going to probably be starting around Gordon, I think. I think Ryan has really given Gordon the nudge there. Breakdown train is sort of getting sandwiched in there as well. Oh, come on, guys. You're going to have to, someone's going to have to do something brave here to show who is the best engine in this lineup. A lot of eye candy, a lot of Thomas and Friends eye candy, and it still hasn't gone wrong. Oh, going over the section here. You can see the breakdown train is off and back on. Nearly every time it goes around, some of that happens. Oh, shooting star Gordon is giving the nudge to that wagon. He doesn't like the smell of that stuff. It says, that stinks. Oh, the indignity. I'm caught up behind. You go hit this rotten wagon of I don't know what, but it stinks. But Gordon is doing his best to stay on the tracks and going through here. Still no sign of trouble yet. Anything could happen. Anything could possibly happen. Oh, coming along here. Always going to be some sort of wrangle and dangle and things trying to jump over the line. And they come through again somehow. Queen Thomas, the Wing Thomas is trying to cause trouble there. The breakdown train is Judy, because I can't say that name, Jerome. I can't say it. Here he goes, doing his best to keep forward of Shooting Star Gordon. Uh, Ryan is there, and the breakdown train's always jumping on and off like a nasty little thing. And somehow this train has not come to a wreck yet. It's been going on for some time. I know something will go wrong, and it's just a matter of time. 
before someone decides, I've had enough of this. I think shooting star Gordon can come through and win this somehow. I've just got my feeling about Gordon, although Ryan has been do, doing his best with Judy to break down train because I can't say Jerome. Wing Thomas has actually been quiet up the ball that keeps nudging that breakdown train there. Ooh, just don't know when it's gonna finish. Oh, come on, shooting star Gordon. You can you can get rid of Hugo. Surely you can get rid of Hugo. Get rid of that piece of German engineering, that amazing piece of German engineering. Don't have it shoved in your face like that. That's just so wrong. Maybe I can spice things up as always by doing that. Ooh, here comes Hugo, gonna go around the side here. Go, shooting star. Go! Oh, there goes Ryan's on the side to break that train and Thomas, Wing Thomas is there in trouble. Hugo is over the side here and shooting star Gordon may come off the winner here. We're yet to see when we get the pile up coming around here. Anything could happen when we come to this pile up here in the back of Annie and Carl. Annie and Carl, but get the shovel and shooting star Gordon comes through and he's, oh, Gordon is down. Gordon is down. And what I really like about Trackmaster 2 is the way you're going to have train wrecks and look at the way the trains are on here, like the way trains crash. It just looks so fantastic when you have train crashes with Trackmaster 2. But my advice is if you see these miraculous Trackmaster 2 sets in store or online, wherever you shop for these, uh, make sure you buy them because Mattel will always love me for saying so. I'm not sure whether you uh, heard the sarcasm in my voice there.